going to we're going to mix and match this with what we call the Edmonton. Now, this particular quilt cover is great because in winter we can put the duvet in quilting, but in summer it's a coverlet. So we just take the duvet out, mm. and myself and my husband will just have the sheet and the coverlet yes. on top. So it's great mix and match. Fantastic. Mm. Now I'll I'll kind of just talk about this because this is actually um we found it really interesting is you know you normally put the button side at the bottom. One reason is so your arms don't get strangled in the gaps when you're sleeping, which sometimes can happen. Um, it's also nice to actually just pull it up and have that end flop over. However, in property styling, putting oh. this top at the top and putting your cushions over it means your photos are really nice because you don't have the hanging in. Very interesting. Yeah, you yes. know, and the, the, the butt yeah. escaping at the bottom. So, you know, think about what you want your bed to look like. Is it for photos, maybe? Is there it you for, go. you know, presentation or selling yep. your house? Um, and just different sides that you actually put the Absolutely. cloth cover. Absolutely. Um, I tend to hide mine at the end of the bed because I put a, um, a, you know, a little throw. Yes. And we'll show you some of the throws we've got to mix and match with this yeah. at the very end. It just adds a bit of contrast too. That's right. Yeah. Different different scenes, you know. Right. So now again, what I've got here is this is a queen bed. Now with a queen bed, I like the overhang, and, and mainly because you know, if you have a partner and he pinches all your quilt, then you're left with nothing. But if yes. you have a king bed on a queen or a super king on mm. a king. It just helps that, and it hangs really nicely at the end. Yeah. It's not hanging at angles like that, it hangs straight down. Yes. So we'll just pop this up. Okay, pull it up from there. Yeah. All right, so this is a beautiful green color, you know, and this really reminds me of, of autumn, beautiful autumn colors, mm -hmm. um, you know, season that we're in. And, you know, it's also pairing it with the charcoal, it's quite a, um, it has a quite a nice masculine feel to it, you know, so the pairing of the charcoal with the green, not necessarily only for men, it just has that kind of more of a, more of a darker feel to it, more of a, um, you know, I don't know, elegance, but also, you know, a bit of masculinity. So we'll show you how to actually Correct. bring in a couple of um, different florals and things to break the, the dark the pattern. Look, look. But I also like the pattern of this, you know. Yes, it, it is a particularly nice. It is a particularly nice pattern, and also we have a lot of ladies that whose husbands just don't want floral. They yes. just don't like the floral, but they can get away with an odd cushion that's floral to make mm. it more feminine. Um, and so the plain colours that we have in Lorraine Lee, we've got lots of different florals yes. and patterns to mix and match. Yeah. So and we're going to show you a bit more in a second. Yeah. So let's have a look at some of the colours that we put on. So first we've got the ones that you mainly sleep on. Now, pillows are a very, which is not, this room, and the Lorraine Lee one is not too thick either, and you can see it has a lovely balance band. Again, we saw the thermal balance in top, and we actually have a pillow case. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, please press thumbs up. Yeah, and please share with all your friends, buddies, whoever you think will benefit from this video. And if you click subscribe, you will see more of these